या क्रेडिट साइड विच आर नॉट रिलेटेड टू बिजनेस डिप्रिशिएशन एज यू नो दैट वी आर सपोज टू माइनस एंड जनरल एक्सपेंडिचर फाइव थाउजेंड प्रमोटिंग फैमिली वी डोंट कंसिडर A warm welcome to one and all. This is your Aras sir here, lecturing with the Ashram First Grade College, the Temple of Excellence. Now we are discussing your session eight of income tax two, the topic called assessment of company. So almost as I told you in the previous session, we are we are done with your assessment of company. But I wanted to discuss one more problem. That is the reason I have taken one more problem today. We'll wind up with this session with this topic that is called. Assessment of company. In this, we will work out your problem number ten. Almost, I hope this is the last one. In this, following is the profit and loss account of X Y Z for the year ended two thousand nineteen and twenty. So these are the informations: salary, advertisement, R B D, depreciation, sales tax, income tax, wealth tax, fine and penalty, underwriters commission, excise duty, bad debt, staff welfare expense. Donation to PM DRF, general expense, donation to political party, and the last one we call it as net profit. Now, in this, which are the items which comes under disallowed RS? We call it as admissible, inadmissible expenses. Like I have given you already the list. What are the lists are there in this? Salary will not come. Advertisement no. RBD yes. Depreciation we have to see. Do we have adjustment on that? Then only. Do we have adjustment? Yes. Then we are supposed to consider depreciation. Sales tax. It is a part of your business. Income tax. Consider. Wealth tax. Consider. Fine and penalty. Consider. Underwriting commission. Consider. But only how much? Eighty percent. You are supposed to consider eighty percent. So this is the amount for this and excise duty part of the business bad debts. Do we have adjustment on bad debts? No, so we are not supposed to take stock welfare ex bad debts, excise duty no bad debts no stock welfare no donation yes we are supposed to consider general expenditure part of your business donation to political party. Yes, net profit we have. Yes, one lakh forty four is a net profit. We'll check one by one. Salary, advertisement, R B D, depreciation, sales tax, income tax, wealth tax, fines and penalty, underwriters commission, excise duty, bad debts, staff welfare, donation. General expenses and donation to political party is over. So this will be what net profit. One lakh forty four thousand is a net profit, and your total is eight lakh fifty thousand. What about your credit side? Your credit side, which are not related to business in the sense rent received. Yes. Share premium, yes. Refund of IT, yes. Long term capital gain, yes. Interest on government security, yes. Dividend from Indian company also, yes. We are supposed to consider all this. Now we done with all this. Your total is eight lakh fifty thousand. We are done with that. We'll do our normal calculation. Depreciation, as you know that we are supposed to minus. And general expenditure five thousand promoting family we don't consider office expense including three thousand and five hundred paid towards municipal tax and insurance insurance is a part but three thousand is personal because municipal tax okay we are supposed to take only three thousand out of office expenses now so we'll go to the answer. So computation of business income. Computation of business income. In this, we have like 
this column will be particular this column will be amount and the last column will be also called as amount now under this what we are supposed to write we are supposed to write one by one net profit what is the net profit you have you have net profit of 1 lakh 44000 1 lakh 44 thousand one lakh forty four thousand then after this what add inadmissible expenses add in admissible expenses add inadmissible expenses which are those we already marked we copy that which are those we are supposed to copy. So one by one we are supposed to take. In that what we are supposed to take is salary is over, advertisement no, RBD, 15,000 is RBD. Your RBD is 15,000. Once you're done with RBD, what is the next one? The next one is depreciation, 65,000. Depreciation Depreciation will be 65,000. After depreciation, what is the next? Sales tax over income tax 60,000. Income tax 60,000. After income tax, Wealth tax 25,000. Wealth tax 25,000. After wealth tax, we have fines and penalty 6,000. Fines and penalty 6,000. After fines and penalty, we have underwriters commission 30,000. We are supposed to take only 80%. Underwriters commission. So it will be what? 30,000 multiplied with 80%. How much you will get? So we'll calculate 30,000 into 80%. Percent. It is 24,000. 24,000. After this, there is over excise duty part of the business, bad debts part, staff welfare part, donation 20,000. We are supposed to take donation 20,000. After donation, we have general expenses. General expenses also part of your business. Now, in this, how much we have general expenses? 20,000. Do we have any adjustment? Yes. General expenses, 5,000 spent on promoting family planning. So, we are not supposed to take because family planning also we have to consider as part of your business. Then. So, any other informations like, so everything is completed. What is the next one? In the adjustment, office expense include 3,000 and 500 paid towards municipal tax and insurance. Do we have office expenses? See, do we have office expenses in this? No, we don't have any office expenses so that we can ignore we can ignore this information. Hope you are clear. We are supposed to ignore. Now, we are done with this. And so these are the things you are supposed to add. What is the total? The total is 15,000, 65,000, 60,000, 25,000, 6,000, 24,000, 
20,000. So I got 2 lakh 15,000. Less. Less what? We are supposed to less other head income. Which are other head incomes? I'll come back to that. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and one more we have will go for that also. We have many other head incomes. Rent received 40,000. Rent received 40,000. After rent received, share premium 50,000. Share premium 50,000. After share premium, what is the next? Refund of IT 5,000. So I'll write here refund of IT 5,000. After refund of IT, LTCG 80,000. LTCG 80,000. After LTCG, what is the next? Interest on government security, 20,000. Interest on government security, 20,000. After this, dividend from Indian company, 15,000. Dividend from Indian company, how much it is? 15,000. We done with that? Yes. We done with all these informations. And so what are this like? 40,000 plus 50,000 and 5,000 plus 20,000 plus 15,000. So we have 1 lakh 30. Along with that, we have one more adjustment that is called depreciation 70,000. Depreciation 70,000 add. So if you add 70,000, I get 2 lakh. So 2 lakh you are supposed to minus. So we have done with this. Your answer 1 lakh 44,000 plus 215 minus 2 lakh, 1 lakh 59,000. This is all about your business income. We are done with your business income. Hope you are clear. Yes. So we have done only business income. We have not done total income. You know that how to do total income. We have done almost nine problems on total income. Please go through all those problems. So I'll go back to the previous slide so that you can take a screenshot. Problem number 10. Your question. Your question part. Solution part. Continuation. So this is all about your today's session. Hope you understood. Yes, please work out. So I try to go for a new topic in the next session. Thank you.